Harness the power of Soil Moisture Probes with CropX Adaptive Irrigation System. You can install your own moisture probes in minutes. Begin receiving live updates on your computer or smartphone that tells you when and if your field needs to be irrigated. Work smarter, not harder. Visit CropX.com. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine and here today at the UC Research Station at Five Points, growers gathered for a vegetable crop pest meeting. One of the key topics today addressed was on beet curly top virus in tomatoes. It's been a serious issue and here's Joan Nunez, farm advisor in Kern County, who talked about his latest studies on controlling beet leafhopper populations to suppress disease in the field. That's a very tough disease to control and uh, because once a beef leaf hopper lands on a plant it feeds on the plant and then it transmits the virus. So I'm looking at different uh, types of mulches to repel the beef leaf hoppers from landing on the plants in the first place thus preventing the spread of curly top. Well the reflective mulch is a kind of a standard type of way of repelling insects from plants. Uh, it's being used commercially on a small scale because it's so expensive and I'm looking at other things to repel them, such as spraying uh, kale and clay on the soil surface, which is a very bright, white, shiny surface that, that reflects the light also and repels the insects. And uh, another one is kind of unusual is I was looking at uh, a green uh, turf dye that you spray on, the, on, the, on your lawns when they turn brown and you want to keep them green. Um, the idea behind that is that uh, the bee leaf hoppers don't like uh, dense canopies. They like plants with a lot of soil around them. So my idea was to trick the insect into thinking there's a dense canopy by spraying the ground green. And it actually uh, had some benefits, so it's kind of exciting. Learn more about Joe's research in the coming issue of Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com. <laughs>